Buick is out and we're headed to the dyno shop to see what this thing can make. Get some real numbers on this? Hopefully, we'll see what she does. Got the track numbers, now we need to see what the dyno numbers. A little backwards, but that's all right. Buick made it over here no problem. Went ahead and got the hubs out, getting ready to get it hooked up. You use these, get the car a little bit flatter since this car sits so low to the ground. So then when we're up on the hubs, it'll sit nice and flat, hopefully. Not the funnest part with the Buick is removing the rear wheels and tires. You actually have to use like a vacuum pump and collapse this tire to get it out of here. Hopefully with the 275s to come out a little bit easier. But this is kind of one of the pain parts about having a car, you know, the overhang here and everything. But we'll get them out of there. Well, that looks weird. <laughs> Drag radial. <laughs> yeah. Uh, with the old and with the new little ones. So we had 315 radials on it. Now we're going to be putting the 275s, both Mickeys, both Pros, ET Street, Radial Pro. But just going to go to the 275s on it. Took us a little while to get everything set up. We are super, super close on the... Uh, chassis here on the car so just making sure they actually were down quite a bit i'm actually using a jack to hold up on the chassis a little bit right here to gain just a little bit here this side was even closer so should be okay now and definitely need to watch that as we start to make some pulls if you guys are not familiar with the buick it is a 427 dart based ls we're running trick flow 245s for the heads frankenstein billet intake it's got twin precision 76 75 billet gen 2 turbos on it and this is pretty much a setup. We also have twin uh, air to water intercoolers up here in the front and the car runs on C16 fuel. We like the C16 because you can just literally swap it straight from pump gas right to C16 and head down the road. Don't change the tune up, nothing. The transmission in the car is a three speed Rossler turbo 400. And of course it's on Holly EFI. So the 275 compared to the 315, looking at the specs, it's only about an inch, inch and a half taller, and then a little bit narrower. But looking at it side by side, that looks like a huge difference. I guess even in the video, it doesn't look that much, but as you can tell, it's quite a bit bigger tire. That's it's pretty crazy. Part of the idea of going to the 275 is going to gain us some gear in the quarter mile. Uh, we lose a little, we'll have to gain some RPM as well going down the highway and stuff like that, but we won't try it. Fireworks for small tire shootouts and everything else, but. We'll see what the car looks like and how it acts on that little itty bitty tire. Putting it in race mode, getting the pump gas out, then we'll put the race gas in it. There, that, that looks like a tent change right there. It has a single fuel cell with an ice tank to it. So we run pump gas in it and then we just end up hooking up our little line and transfer the fuel back and forth. The best pass we've ever made in the car on a lower boost setting, about 23 pounds, went 847 at 170 some mile an hour. So based on that, let me know what you guys think this car is going to make on the dyno today. We're probably going to go ahead and at least make a 23-pound pull and maybe turn it up a little bit more and see if we can set a new dyno record on this thing today. Horsepower. 650. We got 650. What do you got, Alex? 675? Uh, 651? No All right. <laughs> so you got your new tires on there. That's cute. Yeah, these are cute guys. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, guys, I think we're pretty much set up, ready to go for the dyno. I'm going to go ahead and get the computer fired up, make sure we're everything set up for data logging and all of that. We're going to leave the tune up the same because it's been really, really good at the track, but we at least want to data log it and see what it looks like on the dyno. And then we'll have all the data we need, go back to the track and just compare everything. But again, we have a bunch of passes on this. The car's pretty well dialed in, so really we just want to see what this thing can make today on the dyno. Since normally the trans brake sets the boost controller, I'm actually going to come in here and do boost based off of TPS and then I'll go ahead and click that in there and then that will start our boost ramp once I roll into 80% throttle. This way when I roll into it on the dyno into full throttle it'll start the boost ramp. I'm not having to click the uh, trans brake or anything like that to activate it so as we roll in that's where we'll be. I'm also going to go ahead and go in here to boost first time and we're going to go ahead and go zero and on the first pull it'll just be a wastegate pull no extra boost controller at all just just gate.
half short pull, 580 horsepower, 669 torque. We only revved that one to about 5,500 RPM and it only made six pounds of boost. This thing is so extremely loud inside the car because the mufflers come right off the exhaust, off the dyno, off the wall, and right back into the cab. It's, this car is pretty crazy. So I'm gonna turn it up a little bit more now, rev it out a little bit further, and just keep working our way up. Here we go, pull number two. I added more to the dome. That really make it. It might be better. It's not going so bad off the dynos right there. Still got tons of ice water. It's not hardly touching this. So. I get the lid back on it. Nope. Well, let's make a thousand, huh? A little north of it, maybe eleven hundred. Well, just keep turning it up. Step up the old bird's game and see what she's got. Yeah, we got another four or five. Uh, I went from four on the dome to ten on the dome. I'm gonna be a substantial game. What does it make this time? Uh, I'll bet it's about 1180. Car. It's all basically a health cap. <laughs> Got the boost control switch on now, so should be good. need to make about another we make another 100 horsepower we'll set a new dyno record here today, so should, should be able to make that happen say hell yeah again babe. oh yeah well you said it oh yeah yeah There's a chair right there. Oh. You want a snack? 
if I get hungry here in a little bit. I never know, I guess. What do you think they do with the 28 pounds? Probably 15, 16, probably. You think that's where it'd be? Probably. We'll find out. Almost 1300. Yep. <laughs> it's pretty good. All right, guys, here is the tune up or the data log, I guess you could say. So, 11.7 air fuel, a little fat, but 20.2 pounds of boost, so not bad at all. Here we go. Trying to get a uh, high 13 or low 1400 horsepower pull right here. This is the exact same amount of boost or at least dome pressure that we run at the track when we've been going, you know, 850, but at like 172 to 176 mile an hour, somewhere in there. So, uh, should get, should get a little spicy right here. That was easy. Yeah, it makes it look easy. <laughs> We've got a few hours of dialing this thing in, so it's nice to just be able to come in, plug numbers in, let it do what it does. This is the easiest dyno day I've ever been to. <laughs> <laughs> See how much boost it made. 1411 horsepower. That was right at 7200 RPM. Made 24.8 pounds of boost on that pull. Nice. So that's comparable where we was at through all of race week then. Yeah, I think we were making like 23 down track and yeah. that's 24. So a little bit more than that. So that's probably an 8. With the crap 60 foot, that's probably an 840. Yeah. Low 840 pass or something. It, with a good 60 foot, shoot, I should go deep on the 8s. That was a good one. All right, so that was about five more pounds boost. Picked up about 110 horsepower, so not too bad. We'll take that and see what, uh, what do you want to do? I'll put some fresh ice in it. I don't know if you want to step up. Uh, just one more? Yeah, just do one more. Okay. Add, a, add a few more. Just kind of as a comparable, maybe. Well, then we know when we're starting to go after that seven, what yeah. kind of where it's at, too. Yeah. So, okay. Get one more to hit or something like that. Yeah, we'll put another three or four more pounds of boost on it and just see what it does. So then we're in that, you know, I mean, we're only three pounds of boost away from what we went 200 with. Right. So maybe we'll just put it right around that area and we'll see what it does. See what it carries up. We'll go kind of comparable where we was. Yeah. We'll put, that was 24 and a half pounds on the dome. I'll put 27, I think, on it. We'll see what it does. I bet that 27, 28 pounds of boost will get us to seven. Especially with the new suspension. If we can go a 120, 60 foot, we should be able to go sevens with almost that amount of power. Suspension's been our key part in the whole thing. Yeah. So we get the suspension to go a good 60 foot, even that amount of power. I mean, even that power right there is close to probably high 170 mile an hour. So that's still an 8.0 pass pretty close right there. So this next tune up should definitely be a 780, 790. Power wise. Yeah. Depending on what we can get the car to 60 foot. Right. 
264 pound feet torque. It makes really close torque to horsepower. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Detail in the car? Detail wax. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's that stuff everybody's <laughs> using? Adams or something? New 1340 shine. That's what we're Oh, that's right. That is right for Kyle. Yeah, if they got uh, faded spray paint <laughs> detailer. To Kyle a message. <laughs> See if that stuff works on this old thing. Uh, <laughs> Will it bring it back to like new? Should. Auto renew. All the cameras and all the views. Carter's got his handy dandy. What do you call that thing? Handheld thermal camera. Thermal camera. Infrared. Woo! That's pretty sweet. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> all right, so we're going to make one more pull. Should be somewhere around 27 pounds, maybe. 28 and this is where we went 200 mile per hour and a half let's do this <laughs> uh oh maybe not Can I get a heel yeah. kick for that one? <laughs> that, that definitely wasn't what I was expecting out of that. That's amazing. Wow. That was awesome. How much boost was that? Yeah, I'll download that one right now. Yeah, so that figure was definitely off from what we was anticipating. Yeah, I thought we were 15, 14, 15 when we went 200. But... Yeah, you have to watch the Sienna where it kind of came up a level and then you can hear it. Yeah, yeah, and that's where it, it's starting to make all the boost. Dino grabs it, which loads it probably harder, makes a little extra boost, and then it takes off. Oh, is that part of what that's that part is? of what it, I think it's doing right there. It, it hung at about six thousand for a, for a second there. Yeah. And then it, but that'd be comparable to a. I mean, that's. It goes up, shifts, comes yeah. out of it. Yeah. See what that mile an hour is on that one too. What was that? Sixteen hundred and. I think it's sixteen twenty nine. Sixteen twenty nine. Torque was 1464. <laughs> 29, so. Derek right, made. Well, I revved it way out, too. So I was 7400. So this is close to 200 mile an hour. That's probably 190 mile an hour with the wheel speed. Um, and it made 26.1 pounds of boost. So that was pretty good. Right there. 27.4 pounds of boost is what it made the most at at 7,000 RPM. It's pretty, pretty rowdy right there. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we were 27 and a half, 28 pounds of boost when we went 200 and a half. So that's, that's really, really close to what we were making right there. Can I get a happy dance? <laughs> that was awesome. That's amazing. Yeah. I'm very happy. Yeah, that's awesome. Hey, my number was closer than anyone else's. You didn't even guess. Yes, I guess. did. I said 2,000 <laughs> as a joke. <laughs> you guys are like, oh, maybe 1,000, 1,200. <laughs> well, well I mean, after our last one, I was thinking like 1550, but man, that so was yeah, I, It's another four pounds of boost over and made another. 
made almost 200 horsepower, but I think the timing stays the same and air fuel stays the same in that, so it just gets more aggressive. That's what we did to go 200. So. How, much, how, how much was the boost? 28 pounds of boost there? 27 and a half. 27 FP. and a half? Yeah. yeah. Sounds very comparable. To yeah. So that's 27 speed. and a half pounds on the dome and it made 27 and a half, so it's like right there. So really close to the airstrip. I start chasing that 490 and stuff. Yeah, we know the bottoms work, but we definitely got the power. Up top, power yeah. On top on it. We're making the power, we just need to get the car to work down low and then we'll, we're going to make a good rip at the track here very soon. So that's pretty crazy, 1600 horsepower out of a Buick, that's pretty wild. Update on the 275s. They do go. They just barely go in if we lift up on the car. <laughs> Maybe, if we can get it on the... Nice! Look at that cute little guy under there. Yeah. Pretty low. <laughs> Not much crowd clearance now, we got to get the rear end raised up. So we're actually gonna take the car back over to a shop, get the car raised up, and then we're headed to the track this week. So if you guys wanna see some track passes on that thing, make sure to hit that subscribe button. See you next time.